welcome back to my channel this is Laura for today's recipe what I'm going to share with you is a recipe that I found on Cook's Country website I was looking for a recipe for a chicken pot pie and I ran into this one and I found the pie crust very interesting so I thought let's go ahead and film it let's see how we like it I will share their recipe I will link it down below in the description box and if I did any tweaking or anything different I will share it in my recipe which will also be in the description box along with any items that I use. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Laura. And I make cooking and baking videos at least twice a week. If you like our content, please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Go visit us on Facebook and Instagram at Virtual Kitchen with Laura. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I will get back with you as soon as I can. Okay, let's get started. Alright, to start we are going to start with the pie crust. Now I'm going to follow their instructions the way it is. We have one egg in a bowl. We are going to mix in some sour cream and we are going to whisk this together. Okay, and the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to pour in our flour, our salt, and we're going to pulse this together just to mix it. Alright, now we are going to add in the butter which I have here cut into very small cubes and I had it in the freezer while I was waiting for, you know, gathering my ingredients. The colder the better. Okay, so we're going to pulse it until it just breaks down and becomes about pea size and I'll show you. I'm going to close up to that just to where it breaks down that you can barely see the butter. Okay, now we're going to add half of the sour cream and egg mixture in here. And we're going to pulse it again. And now we're going to add the rest of it. Okay, now we're going to pulse it again. Okay, now this should come together. Some of it's going to be a little damper than other areas. We're going to drop this onto our work area and we're going to divide it into two. Okay, we're just going to drop this into our, our work area. Be careful with the blade. Okay, now we're going to bring this together. We're going to need it just a little bit just to bring it together. We're going to cut this into two, try to get two even pieces, and we're going to form these into two discs so that they'll be easier to roll out when we pull them out of the refrigerator. These are going to go into the refrigerator for about an hour. Okay, I have my first piece of saran wrap. in there. Okay, these go in the refrigerator for one hour and then we will start on our filling. Okay, we're going to continue with the filling. I'm going to use this um, Dutch oven only because I want you to see what I'm doing. You can actually use something smaller. We are going to melt the butter. 
Now that that is melting, we're going to add in our onions, our carrots, and our celery. And we are going to soften the vegetables. We do not want any browning here. We just want to soften up the vegetables. We are going to add in our pepper, our salt, and our thyme. Okay, I still have these going. It still needs a couple of minutes. Like I said, we just want them uh, tender, but no browning. Okay, now that we have the vegetables soft, we are going to add in our flour. And we're just going to cook off the flour for just about a couple of minutes. Again, no browning. We just want to get that flour taste out. Okay, that should be good. Now we are going to add our chicken broth. Mix this. And of course this is going to thicken up, so now we are going to add our half and half. We are going to bring this to the boil point before adding in our potatoes. Okay, now that this has started to boil, we are going to add in our potatoes. And we are going to let this simmer. We're going to turn down the heat. Okay, we're going to let this go for a few minutes, for about eight, seven to eight minutes now, and I will be back. Okay, this has been simmering here for about eight to ten minutes. I am going to add in the chicken now. We're going to turn the heat off, and we are going to add in our chicken or our turkey, whatever you decide. It's a lot of chicken. And this you want to make it right after you make your pie crusts. I'm going to add the rest of the chicken so that this can cool off while you're waiting for your pie crust to come out of the refrigerator. Because you don't want this to make your pie crust soggy or start to cook the pie crust. Okay, so now we are going to add in our frozen peas. If you don't like peas, you can substitute the peas for, you know, something else. You can try broccoli, cauliflower. Uh, you can even saute some mushrooms in here if you like. Okay, that's going to be it right there. Look at that. It looks delicious. Now you also want to taste it. Adjust your seasoning to your liking. And I've already tasted it. Mine is okay with what we added. And I'm going to let this sit here and cool. And we'll be back for the next step. Okay, on to the next step. I took the, the pastry dough out. We are going to dust our counter here with some flour and we are going to roll it out and just keep turning it don't let it stick we're going to need it 12 inches is what they say Check this. Okay, perfect. So I want to get some of that flour off. And this is what I'm going to use for my uh, pie plate. This is a nine inch pie plate. And we're going to roll this up on the rolling pin. And try to get it centered. We don't want to stretch it. Okay, now we're going to roll out the second one. And we are going to roll it out to 12 inches as well. Okay, 
we're going to move this to the side and I'm going to bring it back the filling. I'm going to do this just a little bit different than they did. Okay, I had my filling here. I transferred it to a, sm a smaller bowl so you can see and it has been cooling. Okay, so I'm going to fill it up. Okay, now we're going to transfer the other pie crust to the top and just be careful with it. Okay, now we are going to crimp the sides together. Just pinch them together so that nothing comes out. Okay, we're going to trim this down here just a little bit. Okay, and then we're just going to fold it under. Okay, now you crimp it however you want to. Okay, there we go. Now it's going to require us to cut some slits. Okay, we're going to cut four slits, two inch slits. Okay, I'm going to pop this in the refrigerator for about a half an hour. In the meantime, we're going to preheat our oven to 450 degrees and put the rack on the lowest part of the oven. I'll be right back. Okay, the last thing we're going to do before this goes into the oven, we are going to brush the whole thing with egg wash. Okay, now we're going to pop it in the oven at 450 degrees for 20 minutes and then we're going to lower the temperature to 375 for another 15 minutes and I'll be back after it's done. Okay guys, it's cooked already for 20 minutes. We're going to lower the temperature and we are going to rotate the whole tray. Drop the temperature to 375 and bake it for another 18 minutes. Okay guys, here it is, right out of the oven. Very, very hot, but look at that color. Wow, beautiful. Now, we can't cut it right away. We do have to let it sit for about an hour or so, and then I will be back to cut it so you can see what the inside looks like. I'm gonna bring you in for a close-up so you can see the color on this. Look at how beautiful that is. And it smells delicious. Okay, I will be back. Right, guys, we are back and we are going to cut into this so you can see what it looks like. And you can decide how big or small you want your slices. I can tell that the is very very tender wow look at that I wish y'all could smell this this smells delicious and I'm gonna bring you up closer you can see what this looks like how it's not all running everywhere it's nice and thick Alrighty, let's go ahead and give this pie, chicken pot pie, a taste. Much different than anyone I've had before. This one sure has a lot of chicken in it. It's full, full, full. Mmm. Delicious. Mmm. Geez, that crust is just so tender. Very nice and flaky. And the vegetables, you can pick up everything. The potato, the carrot, you can bite into it, the celery. Just perfect on all the vegetables. Very, very tasty, guys. I hope you all give this a try. I'm very, very surprised with the crust. It's delicious. I will use this again in another recipe for something else that I'll share with you all. Okay, guys, that's going to conclude the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I sure enjoyed making it for you. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. And don't forget, all the information will be in the description box below. The recipe, all, any items that I used, and any information you may need. Don't forget to share the videos with family and friends. I'll talk to y'all later.
Bye.